So last week we looked at opening the garden, right? Everyone remembers? <laughs> yes. Some of the holiday that's going to miss a whole step. But anyway, right. <laughs> so I got to this point, right, where I opened his guard and then went to combat base, where I put my knee up to stop him closing his feet again, right? So I know you worked on this, some of this in the classes last week, but we're just going to go through it a little bit. So from this position, I want to be able to pass his legs, right, get around his legs. So we're looking at low passing while I stay on my knees and my feet down here. So what I'm going to do, this hand is going to come under this leg and I'm looking for the belt, right? The belt is the easiest, strongest handle here. And then I'm straightening my arm and I'm trying to get my shoulder under his knee. And then a lot of the fight of passing guard is this, right? If his leg's down, it's half a meter apart. So if I can get here, it's pretty easy for me to pass. Easier, right? So I get to this point here. Right? From there, I can slide across the belt and come tight on the hip. And this foot, this shin is now going to, my combat base is going to come forward a bit and here. And now I've got pressure on him, right? A bit like I'm trying to make him do the splits. Not, he's not going to tap, but he's uncomfortable, hopefully. He'll be uncomfortable. Yeah. Right? So we're going to look at two ways of passing from here. So the first one is the smash pass, right? So what I want to do is I want to make Justin's kneecap touch his face, right? So I'm going to do that by using shoulder pressure and driving forward here, oh, and leaning on top of him. And you know, the whole time he could triangle choke me, very unlikely, right? Maybe when I go here, just about, kind of, right? So I want to keep hold of him, so I'm going to keep hold of his lapel, right? And what, what this stops him also doing is, as I stack, he might kind of shoulder wall backwards and try and take the pressure. Boom! Oh, now the pressure's got Come back this way, you're out shot in front. <laughs> so, I get here, and I'm holding onto his lapel, right? Now he tries to shoulder wall backwards, I got hold of him. It's very hard for him to relieve that pressure. Right? Then I'm coming in, here, there, right? Once I got him stacked up, now he can't shoulder wall. Right? It's very unlikely. So, I'm going to reach back with my hand and grab behind his trousers, so I'm going to grab his trousers, his underwear, back hair, belt ideally you can give here, and then put more pressure. Hopefully he's very uncomfortable. Look at that Scottish red face, beautiful, right? So he's going to be trying to push me away, so just let him have it, oh. and then I get my pass, right? So, Mauricio Gomez, his, his classic thing, he's a huge guy, so it seems a bit unfair, but is a cuckoo, is a Brazilian thing, it's cuckoo, which means when you're in a stack pass situation, he can't breathe, he's miserable, right? Don't rush it. <laughs> because you're tired fighting, right? And you get to the point where your chest is completely compressed, you can't catch your breath, right? You're, you're winning by a lot, and the, the worse I make it for him, the happier he is to give me cycle draw, and the more tired he is when he gets the sort of size now. So I go here, I get the belt initially, to pull it onto my head here and I hold the lapel to stop him shuffling away. I drive in, as I drive in I'm going to let go of the lapel now and then karate chop him in the throat here and then my little finger in his throat and I'm pulling this gear to make it even work. As soon as I got him stacked a bit, he won't be able to shoulder walk so I pull this hand back, reach behind and stack him onto there here. Cook him, he looks cooked, <laughs> give him a little twist here and then drop down psycho chop. Keep that hand block in the hip. Everyone happy with that? One, two, three.